Hey guys, Chris Wales back again for the first time in a while with a long awaited video. On today's episode, we're giving you an up close and personal look at the interface of Trainmon 5. By the end of this video, you should be familiar with reading layouts and signals. Okay guys, so here's a basic overview of a typical layout you'll see on Trainmon 5. Our layout is this example. The most important thing about understanding a layout is knowing the physical locations of signals, blocks, and mileposts. Every signal has multiple states. We will probably release another video diving deeper into signals. But for Trainmon 5 purposes, red, yellow, and green are, are most important. Signals will be green only when there is an active train that is, has been routed to run through them. The train will keep running through all green signals until approaching a yellow, in which they will reduce their speed. As yellow is usually followed by a red signal, which would tell the engineer to come to a complete stop. Another important factor is that a green signal will immediately turn red as soon as a locomotive or first car has passed it. This is known as knocking down a signal. With this knowledge, it is easy to know that a train will be coming soon in the direction the signal is facing when the signal is green. When the dot is on the left of the pole, the direction the train will be traveling will be from right to left on the layout. When the dot is to the right of the pole, the train is going the other direction, which is left to right. Every signal has a name or identifier. Here are some local signals by me. As long as you know where the signals are, you can approximate when trains will be coming and from what direction. There are also block segments, various sensors placed at points along the track. These are usually at somewhat random intervals. In this area of our layout, there are four blocks in between signals CP62 and CP53. This keeps us updated on the train's progress from one signal to the next. Some blocks are longer than others. This one, for example, tells us the length of the block is 13,600 feet. The block will turn red as soon as the train has entered it and will stay that way until the train has completely left it. Freight trains typically can occupy multiple blocks at once due to their impressive length. Trainmon 5 sometimes shows you different things other than trains. Some of these different things include stations, switches, mileposts, and sometimes switch heaters. Okay guys, now we're gonna talk about track legend. The tracks can be multiple different colors depending on the situation. The tracks and blocks will be white if there's no planned route. However, if a train gets cleared through a signal, the next corresponding blocks will turn green. When that happens, that lets us know that a constant has just got a right way and therefore the train has a route. If the tracks and blocks are red, this means that the train is currently occupying those blocks. If the tracks are blue, there is road work or construction ahead. This could also indicate that a rail racer is in that block. If the track is purple, there could be a pump car in the siding. Here in this example, can you guys tell me what's happening? It's okay. I'll give you a few seconds. Figured it out yet? Here's what's going on. There's currently a train going in the left direction and he's almost to Highline Station. In fact, in the final block before the station, so he's probably a few minutes out, if even, and we know once he knocks down signal CP62, He's arrived at the station and will obviously continue until he hits a red. You can tell the direction of travel is right to left because the signal has its dot on the left of the pole. Also, there's white track on the right and nothing but red signals, indicating nothing is currently scheduled to travel that way. Okay guys, so that about wraps up this episode. This was just meant to be a quick overview. 
We may make a more advanced tutorial showing Trainmon 5 more in depth eventually, but this is all you really need to get started. If you have any further questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I wish you guys good luck at finding and spotting trains. Be careful out there. Remember to like and subscribe to this wonderful channel. That's all for now, guys. Until next time, Chris Rails out.